Have you ever dreamed of living a life where every desire takes shape and every aspiration turns into reality? Imagine what it would be like to realize every dream and every aspiration so that you can live peacefully and happily. In this video, thanks to a Zen story steeped in Buddhist wisdom, we will talk about an ancient ritual thanks to which you can get what you want from life. And you will see how, by saying two specific words, the universe will give you what you desire. So, stay until the end of this story and you will discover that the realization of your wishes is closer than you think. You will discover how to manifest what you want and that the power to make your dreams a reality lies within you, ready to be awakened. But before continuing, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications so that you are informed when we publish new content for your spiritual growth. Thousands of pilgrims seeking inner peace and Buddhist wisdom often come to an ancient Buddhist monastery perched on a green hill at the foot of Mount Fuji. Here, the venerable monk Gaiden, whose skin was weathered like the bark of an ancient tree, was known for his profound spirituality and his ability to guide others towards personal growth. One day, as the sun was setting, painting the sky with golden shades, a group of pilgrims arrived at the monastery. They were restless souls, hungry for answers and eager to discover the secrets to making their dreams come true. Gaidan welcomed them with a benevolent smile and invited them to sit in a circle in the Zen garden, where the raked sand formed harmonious patterns that invited meditation. My dear disciples, Gaiden began in a warm and enveloping voice. The path to the realization of your desires is like a mountain path. This path requires commitment, perseverance, and above all, a clear vision of the goal. But fear not, because Buddhist wisdom offers us the tools to face this challenge with courage and determination. The pilgrims listened attentively, captivated by the words of their wise mentor. Before embarking on any journey, Gaidan continued, it is essential to prepare your mind and heart. Just as a gardener carefully sows the seeds that will give life to lush flowers, you too must plant the seeds of your desires in the fertile soil of your mind. But how can we do this, master? Asked a dark-haired young woman, her eyes shining with curiosity. Gavin smiled. The answer is simpler than you might imagine. Before you fall asleep, take a moment to reflect on your deepest desires. Then, choose two words that best represent them, two words that resonate with your soul and light the fire of your motivation. The pilgrims exchanged questioning glances, aware that the master was about to teach them something precious. For example, Gavin explained, if your greatest desire is to find true love, you might choose the words love and connection. If you dream of achieving professional success, you could opt for success and fulfillment. If your aspiration is to live a healthy and energetic life, health and vitality might be the right words for you. These two words, Gagdon continued, will become your personal mantra, a powerful tool to focus your mind and heart on your goals. Repeat them mentally, whisper them to yourself, Write them on a piece of paper and keep it under your pillow. Let these words accompany you in your sleep, permeating your subconscious and paving the way for the realization of your dreams. The pilgrims nodded, understanding the importance of choosing the right words. But remember, Gavin added, that words alone are not enough. You must also cultivate inner peace and emotional balance. And meditation, Mindfulness practice and connection with nature are precious tools to achieve this state of mental well-being. Meditation, Gaidlin explained, allows you to quiet your mind to observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. It's like watching clouds pass in the sky without holding on to them. Master, I cannot meditate easily. How can I do? Asked one of the pilgrims. Meditating is much simpler than you might think, replied the monk. Just focus on your breathing for a few minutes and push all thoughts away. These will return, but you will chase them away again and again and again 
until you are calm, serene, at peace. Continuing the lesson, he talked about mindfulness. It teaches you to live in the present moment, to appreciate every moment of your life, he said. Mindfulness is a practice that derives from Buddhist meditation and consists of paying attention to the present moment in an intentional and non-judgmental way. It's about observing your thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations without trying to change or repress them. You simply have to listen to yourself. And finally, the connection with nature reminds you that you are part of a greater whole, that your existence is interconnected with that of every living thing. The pilgrims listened attentively, absorbing Gaiden's teachings like thirsty sponges. Also, Gaidon continued, don't forget that personal growth is a never-ending journey. Every day offers new opportunities to learn to evolve, to become the best version of yourself. Be patient, be kind to yourself, and never give up. Your dreams are there, waiting for you. All you have to do is reach out and grab them. But remember, the realization of your desires also requires commitment, determination, and perseverance. The two words you must repeat every night are a powerful tool, but it is your actions in the world that will shape your dreams. The pilgrims left the monastery with hearts full of gratitude and minds full of new awareness. They understood that the realization of their desires was not a random event, but the result of a process of spiritual and personal growth. So, armed with this new wisdom, they embarked on their journey towards happiness and success, certain that Gaidan would always accompany them with his loving support. In the days and weeks that followed, the pilgrims put Gaidan's teachings into practice. They chose their two words carefully and turned them into a daily mantra. Some chose love and compassion, eager to build deeper, more meaningful relationships. Others opted for creativity and inspiration, driven by a desire to express their artistic talent. Still others chose health and wellness, determined to take care of their bodies and minds. Every evening before falling asleep, the pilgrims repeated their words, visualizing their dreams as if they were already reality. They felt the joy of achieving their goals, the satisfaction of overcoming challenges, the peace of living a life in harmony with their values. And slowly, almost imperceptibly, their dreams began to take shape. Those who had chosen love and compassion found themselves surrounded by loving and compassionate people. Those who had opted for creativity and inspiration discovered new talents and passions, managing to realize their dreams in the artistic field. And those who had chosen health and well-being improved their lifestyle managed to dedicate more time to movement and felt more energetic and vital. Gaivan observed the progress of his disciples with pride and satisfaction. He knew that their success was not only due to the magic of the two words, but also to their commitment, their perseverance, and their belief in the power of the mind. One day, while the pilgrims had gathered again in the Zen garden, Gaivan invited them to share their experiences. One after another, they told how the two words had transformed their lives, how they had opened doors to new opportunities and guided them towards the realization of their dreams. Master Gaidon said a man in his fifties, I have always wanted to change careers, but I was afraid of failure. I chose the words courage and determination, and day after day, I felt the strength to face my fears grow within me. Today, I have a new job that I'm passionate about and makes me feel alive. A bright-eyed young woman added, I've always dreamed of writing a book, but I felt stuck, unable to find the right words. I chose the words creativity and inspiration, and like magic, the ideas began to flow. Now I'm writing my first novel, and I feel happier than ever. An elderly gentleman with snow-white hair concluded, I have struggled with health problems for years, but I chose the words health and vitality and began to take care of myself more carefully. Today, I feel stronger, more energetic, and more optimistic about the future. 
Gaidun listened to their stories with a radiant smile. He knew his job was done. He had sown the seeds of Buddhist wisdom in the hearts of his disciples, and these seeds had given rise to a lush flowering of personal growth, inner peace, and mental well-being. My dear disciples, Gaidun said in an emotional voice, I am proud of you and of the path you have traveled. Remember that spiritual growth is a never-ending journey, an adventure that will take you ever closer to your true essence. Continue to cultivate inner peace, nourish your dreams, and believe in the power of your mind. The world needs your light, your wisdom, and your compassion. And remember that words are powerful, but it's action that truly turns dreams into reality. Davin smiled. I want to give you a gift, the awareness that you are the creators of your reality. Every thought, every word, every action helps shape your destiny. If you believe in yourself, if you have faith in your potential, if you act with courage and determination, then nothing can stop you from realizing your dreams. But remember, Gaiden added, that true happiness lies not in the achievement of a goal, but in the journey itself. Enjoy every step of the way, learn from your experiences, be grateful for every gift life offers you. And above all, never forget to love yourself and others, Love is the most powerful force in the universe, capable of transforming every challenge into opportunity and every pain into joy. The pilgrims bowed in gratitude, knowing that their encounter with Gaidan had changed their lives forever. Then, they left the monastery with hearts full of joy and minds full of hope, ready to face the challenges of the world with renewed confidence and serenity.